Hello my friend, happy to see you here and welcome back to math mode. Really interesting exponential equation today, we have 27 to the x plus 3 to the x equal to 30. And of course we need to solve it first way to use logarithm, as, as right here we have x, so it looks like we need to use logarithm, but I want to show you a really good approach, because 27 is really good to write as 3 cube. We all know this, 3 times 3 times 3 equal to 27, so 3 cube to the power x plus 3 to the x equal to equal to 30. So we have this expression, nothing changed, we just write this 27 as 3 cube. What are we going to do next? We need to know a really good rule. If we have a to the power x and we raise all of these to the power b, we need to write it as a to the power x times b. We need to multiply it. So right now let, let's do this. We will have 3 to the power x right here cube, so we can easily change this because right now we can write it as a to the power b raised to the power x. This is the rule right here, we can change these powers. I write it in this way, so plus 3 to the x equal to equal to 30. So we have this this equation. And right now it's really good to see that right here we have 3 to the x and right here 3 to the x. So it's really good to write a substitution, so let 3 to the x equal to, for example, t. What equation we will have as a result? As a result we will have t cube plus t and minus 30. Equal to equal to zero, so we have this this equation. But how can we solve it? There are a lot of ways how can we solve it. But the best way, as I guess I I solve it every time, is to find real quick factors of this thirty. So we find positive and negative one. Let's start with factors of this thirty. So I don't want to write all factors, but let's start for example with plus minus one, plus minus two plus minus 3, and we have a lot of factors, but let's check real quick these factors. So we have plus minus 1, plus minus 2, and plus minus 3. So for example, we have plus 1. If you plug in 1 right here, we'll have 1 plus 1 minus 30, so no good. If we have minus 1, the same thing, this is no good. The next, plus 2 we have, 8 plus 2, 10 minus 30, not good, minus 2. We will have the same thing. The next, plus 3 what we will have, 27 plus 3 minus 30, this is good for us. So we find one factor, so t minus 3 will be our factor, and we need to find another parenthesis, right now I'm going to show you how can we do this. So finally we find a one factor, we find t equal to 3. So let's go next, how can we find this parenthesis, maybe we will have right here more real roots right here. So firstly we have t cube, I write this t cube. We don't have t square right here, and I want to factor t minus 3, so I write minus 3t square and plus 3t square. I have t, so I want to factor t minus 3, so I write minus 9t plus 10t and minus 30. And if you look closely to this, right here this equal to 0 and this equal to t. So as you can see this is the same as right here. But right now we can easily factor this t minus 3. So if we factor it, we will have t minus 3. And in parentheses right here, we will have t square. The next plus 3t from here, from these both, we will have t minus 3 as well. And plus 10 from these both, and in the end we will have t minus 3. So we can easily factor it right now, because we have t, mi t minus 3, t minus 3, and t minus 3. So we have t minus 3, and in parentheses we will have t square plus 3t and plus 10 equal to 0. So I want to mention that this is my approach how I factor this cube equation. Of course, you can divide by this t minus 3, you didn't like you teach at school this 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 way, you can find another way, you can you can solve it in your own. But I want to show you this approach, and finally I factor it. So we have a product, product equal to 0 when t minus 3 equal to 0, from here t equal to 3, and this equation, t square plus 3t plus 10 equal to 0. And from here, let's find real quick of a discriminant. It will be equal to 9 minus 4 times 1 times 10. So it looks like negative, because we'll have minus square root of minus 31. So right here we will have two complex roots, so two complex complex roots. If you're interested in this, of course, we can solve it from this moment real quick. You will find two, two right here, two, two roots right here, and you will plug in in this substitution. But we're interested in, in real roots, we have t equal to 3, but 3 to the x equal to t. So we will have 3 to the x 
equal to 3 and x equal to 1. This is our this is our answer. If you still have any question, write a question in comment. I hope you understand this explanation. But if you don't, I ask I answer everyone. So if you are interested in this, you can easily ask in the comment how can we do this problem. Thank you and have a great day. See you in the next videos.